In this video we want to introduce the female pelvis. Now the pelvis is in the lower part of the peritoneal cavity and indeed there's some structures in the pelvis below the peritoneal cavity. So this line here would be the pelvic inlet. This is the start of the pelvis. So above this is abdominal cavity. Here we have pelvic cavity. Now if you were going from the abdomen through to the pelvic cavity there wouldn't be any physical barrier here because the anatomy of the pelvis is defined by the pelvic bones round about. So that's the pelvic inlet, abdominal cavity there, pelvic cavity beneath. And then the lower extremity of the pelvis, what we call the pelvic outlet, is that line there from the bottom of the pubic symphysis to the coccyx. So this is the pelvic outlet and of course this is essential in obstetrics because the fetal head has to pass out through the pelvic outlet as the baby is born. At the back here this is the rectum and we notice that the rectum is level with the third sacral vertebrae. So these are the sacral vertebrae here and this is the rectum where the faeces is stored prior to being defecated through the anal canal at the bottom here. This part of the intestine above is the sigmoid colon, the S-shaped part of the colon and the rectum there. Here we see the peritoneal membrane lining the abdominal cavity and this extends into the pelvic cavity. And the peritoneal membrane on the outside is the parietal peritoneum. And we actually see that the parietal peritoneum covers the top of the uterus and the top of the bladder there. So here we have the uterus and we notice that the uterus is lying in that plane. The uterus is lying in that direction. Here we have the communication between the uterus and the outside world, the vagina, lying in that direction. So we have the uterus there and we have the vagina there. So posteriorly we have the anus, then we have the vagina, then moving anteriorly we have the urethra connecting to the urinary bladder. And here the urinary bladder is empty, so it's fairly low down in the pelvis. Thinking about the vulva, which is the external female genitalia, we have the labia majora with skin and then the labia minora here inside the vulval area. This bit more anteriorly here contains many sensory nerves, very sensitive sensory nerves and surrounding this there's also some erectile tissue and this is the clitoris which is primarily responsible for female orgasm. Looking inside the cavity here we have the ovary and we have the uterine tube coming from the ovary and if fertilization takes place it will take place in this top part of the uterine tube and then the fertilized ovum will go down into the uterus where the fetus will develop and of course the uterus will expand as pregnancy develops. And we have various ligaments that hold the uterus in place. So we have a ligament here called the broad ligament. We have a ligament there connecting the ovary to the uterus. And another ligament there called the round ligament. So this is all well held into place. And we also notice the major blood vessels. The aorta carrying blood from the heart. 
the vena cava taking blood back to the heart and we notice artery there, small artery and smaller veins there that follow a meandering course down and actually take blood into the ovary, the ovarian artery and the ovarian vein. So there are some of the main structures of the female pelvis. For more detail you can watch the next video where we talk about these structures in more detail.